Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nebo Unboxed. My name's Zach, and today we are unboxing the Micro Headlamp and Cap Light by Nebo. The Micro is a low-profile, lightweight headlamp that easily transitions to a cap light. It measures only one and three quarter inches wide and one inch tall. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package to take a look. To open the micro headlamp, cut across the package just above the Nebo logo, then easily separate the front and back portions of the cardboard. The head strap and user manual will remain in their plastic covering. When you remove the user manual from the plastic tabs, you'll find the adjustable head strap and the micro USB charging cable. We'll get to both of those in a moment, but first, let's finish unboxing the light itself. To remove the light, you'll need to carefully cut along the opening of the plastic that houses it. Okay, so here it is, the micro headlamp. Its six light modes, adjustable strap, and cap light clip make it the perfect companion for hands-free lighting for a variety of tasks. First, I'd like to cover a couple features of the light. The micro headlamp comes attached to its cap light clip but it can be easily detached for use with the head strap. Also notice, one side of the light has the power button, and on the other side, you'll find the charging port covered by a piece of silicone. To charge your micro headlamp, simply plug the included micro USB cable into your USB charging block, and then plug the other end into the micro USB port on the light. Take care to hold the light by the top and bottom to avoid accidentally turning it on and shining the light directly in your eyes. While charging, the LED indicator on the micro will shine red. When the micro is fully charged, it will change color to green. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at the power of the micro headlamp. To turn on the light, simply press the power button once. The light will immediately turn on in high mode, which is up to 150 lumens for one hour of runtime, shining at a distance of up to 50 meters or 164 feet. Now, since the light has been on for more than 8 seconds, the next time I press the button, it will turn the light off. However, if you press the button a second time within 8 seconds of first turning the light on, the light will change to the next mode, which is medium. And in medium mode, the light is up to 50 lumens for 2 hours of runtime, shining at a distance of up to 18 meters or approximately 60 feet. Since the light has been on for more than 8 seconds again, Pressing the button will turn the light off, but another feature of the micro headlamp is the light mode recall. What this means is that the micro headlamp will always start out by turning on in the last used light mode. Since the last mode I used was medium, a press of the button will turn the light back on in medium mode. Pressing the button again will put the light back into high mode at the top of the mode cycle. Another press takes us back to medium, and if you press the button a third time, low which is up to 15 lumens for five hours, shining at a distance of up to 10 meters or 33 feet. The next two light modes of the micro headlamp are green and red modes, which can be activated by clicking the button at fourth and fifth time. In both of these modes, the light is up to 10 lumens for a runtime of 10 hours, shining at a distance of up to 14 meters or 45 feet. That completes the mode cycle of high, medium, low, green, and red using a single press of the power button. But there is one additional light mode you can activate as well. If you press and hold the power button on the micro headlamp while it is on, it will activate turbo mode, which is up to 400 lumens, shining at a distance of up to 80 meters or 262 feet. The micro headlamp will remain in turbo mode until you've turned it off, or for as long as 30 seconds. After 30 seconds of being on in turbo mode, the micro headlamp will automatically fade to the mode you were using prior to activating the turbo mode. This feature protects the battery and it prevents the light from overheating. The micro headlamp also features a direct to red option which is activated by pressing and holding the power button while the light is off. Doing so will also reverse the mode cycle. So now, pressing the button a second time will activate green mode, then low, then medium, and finally high mode. Now that I've walked through the light modes, let's get to the headlamp functionality of the micro. The elastic head strap attaches by sliding into both sides of the base. For the most secure fit, position the strap in front of the base. Once you slide it on, simply move the adjustable clip to tighten or loosen the strap to fit your head. The micro quickly transitions to a cap light with the included clip for maximum versatility. To remove the cap light clip, pull the tab upward while you pull the clip away from the micro. To reattach the cap light clip, simply push it back into place. Whether you use the head strap or the cap light clip, 
The micro headlamp is equipped with a 135 degree vertical pivot head, which enables you to point the light exactly where you need it. Also, the micro is water resistant with an IPX4 rating and impact resistant up to one meter. And the LED in the micro headlamp also has Nebo's standard expected minimum lifetime of 50,000 hours. Okay, so that's the micro headlamp from Nebo. This versatile headlamp and cap light is a mighty powerful light. Lightweight enough to go everywhere and bright enough to light up any task. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Nebo Unboxed. Once again, thanks for joining me. I'm Zach, and I'll see you next time.